we'll get it. Beautiful, beautiful snow. So I haven't started here in three, four weeks. And it's been two days of snow and some freezing temperatures. Let's see. Cleaning of the bike. I can tell you already, battery will be dead, like I said. That isn't a problem. Because this kickstart anyway. But will it start? Why am I doing this again? One try! Bloody hell! This bike is made for... <laughs> Off-roading to the snow! That feels fucking weird! Jesus, I think... <laughs> This is way too much fun. Backside is spinning out. <laughs> as long as I prevent the wet areas, I'm absolutely fine. Oop, that was slippery. Just avoid the white lines and we are fine! I do have to ride with Pfizer open, so sorry for the wind noise. But yeah, it's fucking up. So it's been snowing two days, two and a half days, maybe even three days, depending on where you are in the Netherlands. I really really wanted to ride yesterday when the most snow was coming down, so the roads were still kind of clear But it was massive massively snowing, but I had a uh, cut off shift, so I just couldn't ride my motorcycle So you'll have to do with this one the Wonderland Now I'm wearing a balaclava for the first time under this helmet and it keeps me warm although not the part with the visor of course but it keeps me warm but this helmet is not used to that extra so it's really really tight which isn't a real problem because fuck it I'm not riding for hours at least I'm not planning to um, I'm just riding for the fun of it, because how many times do we have a white, snowy feeling here in the Netherlands? Okay, avoid the white lines. We're fine. I want to talk about multiple subjects in different vlogs, but I'm not going to think I'm not thinking one of those vlogs is going to happen today Today we're gonna enjoy Winter Wonderland Whatever the fuck comes up in my mind Because it is just way too much fun Especially the look some people give you, like what the fuck is that we are doing on a bike in the snowy weather Riding like a fucked art. Well, I'm looking for a nice place to make some beautiful pictures for the bike in the snow. In the snow. Signs that aren't readable anymore. Cars that don't know how to turn anymore because it is white outside. Of course, you can cross the white lines. Just don't alternate your throttle hand at that moment. Don't change any amount of power 
although you can degrade, you can downside your power a little bit, but don't try to give more gas on the white lines. That is when you fall, or on the road repair tar strips or whatever. What the biggest problem is white uh, black ice. But this point is above freezing point, so we're safe about that. And the amount of salt they are throwing down, especially in this area here. It's insane, which of course makes it safe for me to ride, which is a good side. But it also makes a lot of water, meaning that when it will freeze tonight, and of course it will most likely freeze tonight, this will all become black ice. So tomorrow is the day you don't want to ride. Not a motorcycle, not a car, you just don't want to ride tomorrow. Speak spot. White spot and on the earth. Overtaking, no problem. All is fine and dandy if you know where you're going. And if you do not know where you're going, like me, still fine and dandy. Just choose your position on the road with some safety. People must think I'm crazy, and I am. I am crazy, yes, boss. From time to time, I can feel a little bit of movement on the rear tire, in the corners, especially. But nothing more than if you would go off road. I mean, muddy sections at are more slippery than what I have encountered on the roads at this moment. Some spots not taken into account. And I have the feeling this, this video is becoming so long that it might be a two-party. <laughs> 